Yeah, I didn't tell you, it is a landmine forest. What? <laughs> it's like you thought you were in North Dakota. You're in Chernobyl, baby. What? That would, be, that would be like the ultimate twist. They didn't know they were in like Russia doing man tracker. That'd be terrible. <laughs> I know. It's not like the show's any good anyways. No, it's great. It's alright, but you just, did you hear my explanation of it though? I just heard not like that show's any great. That's all I heard. No. Okay, well you missed me explain it. Like what the show? whole concept of the sh man tracker. The oh, concept yeah. of the show is pretty stupid because... The man tracker sucks. Well yeah, because what do you win? Hmm? What do you win? What do you win? <laughs> I don't know. Nothing. Jake said, Jake said bragging rights. Yeah, you win bragging rights. So you get to go tell your friends that you ran around in a forest somewhere avoiding some dude with a gray beard and a horse. Think about it, there's a camera crew following me. Oh yeah, no, we've, we've discussed that already. It's like... Put that right away. How do you not see the, the, the camera crew? Like, the camera. There's a lens flash in the bush that might be them. Hey Jim, is that you? Yeah, man, what's going on? It's like, are those guys over there? It's like, yeah, man, just, just come on by. It's like, did you ever notice? He's like, look at the treads on this footprint. It's exactly <laughs> facing 33 degrees north. They're at this. the end of the tunnel. And then they're like, <laughs> what? And then, what you don't realize is that they're on radio with the camera crew following the people. And he's like, yeah, man, he's over here. Just pretend to find a shoe print or something. Look at this leaf. This leaf has three drops of condensation on it. They must be over that way. <laughs> what? <laughs> but no, no, you know what? Some, a lot of his shit, though, is legit. Oh, I know, I'm just saying, the show yeah, itself. A lot of that stuff's legit, but, like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a break. I've seen some pretty ridiculous <laughs> conclusions on his part. It's like, you're, you're really gonna go out on a limb and say that's, that's how you know, right? I yeah. yeah. I remember Troy was like so pumped, he's like, oh my god, Bear Grylls is off, and I'm like... Bear Grylls was the guy who stays in hotels when he's I know, shooting. I and then, and then he started watching a special, and then he was like, he came back to me like, a couple days later, he's like, what the... He said, Sh <laughs> He says, Bear Grylls is a piece of garbage. <laughs> yeah, but, Man, I love Bear... What, what, he's in a hotel room, what, what yeah. the fuck? Yeah, yo, I'm gonna turn my camera off as I go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna watch me sleep? Nah. Nah, nah you don't, you don't wanna watch this. Nah. <laughs> yeah. I'm in a hotel. See you later. Yeah, bye. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. That's what he does. <laughs> you know who's good? Survivor, man. Oh, yeah, he's a champ, though. He's legit. Yeah. He'll you like... know what I appreciate about Survivor, man, though? He's not a camera crew? <laughs> no, no, no. He gives up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's, I, that's, I, a, I, that's, I, that's a good quality in a man. That's always what I look for. I'm joking. Like, you know, like, you know what I mean? Like, when these hunters, like, I can't make it. Like, yeah. I'm yeah, gonna die. Yeah. Well, I mean, it kind of shows that it's real. It's not like. That, that's hey. the thing. Like, I, 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 that's what that. That's that, good... that show, like, that little edge. Uh, like... Yeah. He's a good cameraman and who's ever editing that show is doing a good job, too. Well, it's not like he's like, all right, now basically, if you're ever in the wild and you're wrestling eight grizzly bears at a time, basically, you're gonna always want to have two shoelaces that aren't the same color, because it'll distract the bears, and then you can hit them in the head with this billy bat that you conveniently carry around with you at all times, and then you'll well, survive. Well, like, uh, that as well is, is, is legit in the sense that, like, he's doing that stuff. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, it's not. I'm gonna walk up a mountain and eat a spider. Okay, bye. Yeah, now now I'm going back to eat some caviar. Yeah, Jeez. Survivor Man's like, holy shit, let's go find some fucking food before I die. Yeah. <laughs> like, I haven't eaten yet, uh... Yeah, it's been I'm... five days. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to get a little hungry. I'm gonna look for some food. <laughs> My watch stopped working. Is it? Grills has his own brand of, like, like uh, outdoors equipment. Really? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, like, uh, I saw, when I went to get the, the paddles for a canoe, I had like a knife that had his picture on it. I saw uh, an episode with Will Ferrell. <laughs> you serious? <laughs> what? Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. was, that was actually pretty awesome. I was surprised. Did you go with him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were in like the Arctic or something. It was crazy. Do you remember that time when I was at your house and we were watching, watching his show, and then he like, he like put a towel with a knot at the end of it in between a crack of a rock that had some water dripping down and then he put like a water bottle at the end of it yeah yeah yeah, yeah and he was like all right now we're basically gonna leave this here 
and then we'll come back, and it was like the cleanest Purina water I'd ever seen in my life. I was like, yeah, because that's real, right? Oh, yeah. It's like, it was cleaner than the water at my house. Like, well, no, it was dripping off a rock, right? It's probably spring water. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's probably, it depends. No, I know, it was just... Still... But it, it there was like no stream to it. It was like one one little drip every few seconds, and then he comes back later, and the whole bottle's filled up, and you could... Oh, it was just... Yeah, yeah, it gets, it gets bad when that happens. You're like... What? <laughs> we do some three-day time? What's going on? <laughs> Basically, if you put this string near a rock, a Big Mac will appear, and then you yeah. get to unwrap it, and then you get to eat it, and that's how it happens. Well, you gotta cut it with your knife, though, and you gotta cut it in half with your knife. That's the important part. Yeah, that's, or else it's not true. So that means you're surviving, using a knife. Yeah. Everyone does that. <laughs> it would be great, he's just sitting in a McDonald's, and he's got, like, <laughs> sitting on the floor with, like, a wilderness knife, cutting, like, potatoes to put in the deep fryer. <laughs> He's like, this is true wilderness survival at its core, and he's like... Dude, that's just army knife. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's, he's just doing normal stuff, but with, like, wilderness equipment. He's got, like, a rope and, like, a knife. Not even he's, doing anything with it. He's canoeing across the fountain drink machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Doesn't move by themselves now. You know what I'm Hmm? That shit's real. <laughs> This is an extreme concern we're having right now. What? I don't know. But those things move by themselves, bro. You gotta be careful. Yeah, I guess they do. Sleepy. Probably <laughs> gonna die soon or later. The machine's gonna beat us too. God! Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of anger. No, no, no. I'm keep clicking the wrong goddamn thing. We're good now. <laughs>